I was raised in a barrio called Magnolia, which is in the Lower East Side of Houston, Texas. Uh, from 1978 to 1981, I was an amateur boxer for Championship Boxing of Galena Park, which is a small gym on the outskirts of the Houston Ship Channel. I kind of knew I was going to be a boxer because everybody in the family at some point in time was a, was a fighter. All, all the men were fighters. Red Leather Gloves explores the socialization of a young Mexican-American male, a young Chicano male, who is taught to be a, a man within a very twisted paradigm. This book is about surviving brutality in the ring. It's about surviving the brutality that I was taught to inflict upon my opponents. And this book explores that. But I also wrote it uh, as a meditation on, on survival, on resilience, on the, the indomitable spirit of humanity. Boxing uh, inflicted a lot of harm on me, but it, it taught me how to survive. Now that the book is out, one worries about the artists, what they're going to say, one worries about the critics. I especially worry about what my family will say because they're very sensitive poems, they're very meditative and in my community and in my family we're not supposed to share the intimate feelings, the fears, the vulnerabilities. So I fear, I fear what are they going to say about me, what are they going to um, say about my depictions of, of the ugliness of fighting. My dear Lucy turns away from the fight on TV. She just can't stand to see a man broken like that in front of everyone. She's seen it all before. My dear Lucy turns away from the fight on TV. Nose wrinkled up, eyes tight. She knows what will happen next. She's from a family of fighters whose arms were never strong enough to make them anything more than working class. Tyrants at home, all of them. This book is about hope, but it's honest, and it shows the realities that confront not just people who were growing up in poor barrios like I was, uh, but all humanity. It's an existential meditation on our capacity as individuals and as society to inflict evil upon other people and, and, and sentient beings, but also our capacity to work our way out of it somehow, some way over time, if we're honest about how far we've descended. Now that Red Leather Gloves has been published, it is cathartic. It has, there's a cathartic dimension to uh, finally having all this pain rendered through art shared with the world. Uh, it's a release. I finished this book, I purged it, and I can go on to my next projects and, and keep meditating on, on what it means to be human.